This is a video specifically for the National Association of Expert Advisors edition of Plan Plus Online. In this video, we're going to discuss the contact classification type and status field. So when you log into your account, you click on the contacts tab. It's a good thing to do would be to create a couple of contact records. Get yourself into a position where you've got these contact records in here. And we will open up the page here and you'll see that we've got a contact classification. The contact classification is on a scale from one being a raving fan, somebody who you've done business with and is referring you business, has referred you business, to an advocate, which is somebody who is not necessarily a client but has referred you business, a repeat client, somebody that's done more than one transaction with you, and then a first-time customer on down to a qualified prospect and an unqualified prospect. So if you're putting in a brand new lead that you've, you've spoken with, they may be qualified. You'd, you'd probably put them in as a qualified prospect. And then over here under contact status, you'd want to list them as a prospect as well. And then under contact type, you'd select the type of prospect that they are, a buyer or perhaps a seller. This contact type field right here, by the way, if you're doing an import from top producer, this is where your contact types from top producer are all going to show up. So if you've done that import, you might find that you've got a number of values in here. Coming back to this classification field, this is the really the most important field that you want to use to categorize your contacts. All these other fields here are fairly intuitive and self-explanatory as far as how you want to keep track of them. But the classification field and the contact status field and contact type field are how you're going to keep track of the records and follow up on the prospect and activities that you have. So once somebody becomes a qualified prospect, you click on the contacts tab and just notice that the contacts tab and the summary link take you to the exact same place and I've got a filter right here we refer to this as a filter I can select any one of my contacts that are in one of these classifications right here so if I want qualified prospects I can see a list there's my qualified prospect now you also have some views right here views are a good thing to really master and understand so that you can select a view and you can even set your your default view uh, a good thing to do is get familiar with the views that are in here and you can also create your own custom views in the manage views and reports and there will be a video on that as well.